Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to introduce character, col character controllers and I'm also going to introduce some animations and, and how to use a 3D asset, 3D model. Uh, so I'm going to make a soldier model that we downloaded in the first video from Asset Store. Again, you, I'm going to show it one more time. So go to the Asset Store, uh, type in soldier to the search bar. And to get the free ones, the, the ones with the lowest price first, uh, click on price tag here. And now this is the one that I'm going to be using. Um, you can just download it. If you haven't downloaded it, it's going to have a download button. If you did, it's going to be an import button. Just click and import everything. And then drag that folder, Toon Soldiers, into your models folder. Uh, if you don't have to do it, it's just going to keep it more organized. So I'm going to close the Asset Store tab. Now, here's my object. It's a cube, but I'm going to name it to Player. And the thing is, this cube is, it has a collider, which I won't be using it. So find a box collider in the Inspector window. Click uh, to this, this thing here and remove component. Uh, same with the mesh filter, remove it, uh, mesh render, remove it, and right now you see it, it's a, only an empty game object, it only has the player control script. Now we're going to add a controller, character controller, and as you can see the character controller is giving it a collider. Now, what is a character controller? Character controller is mainly used for third-person or first-person player control that does not make use of any rigid body physics. So, normally, the Unity has a physics engine and you can simulate movements and objects, collisions using physics. But since most games are not that realistic, we don't want to tire the CPU with all the physics and stuff. And we don't need to use all the detailed physics because it's just not going to feel like a game. Uh, therefore, Unity has a solution uh, for this character controller. It makes it easier to move ob move character objects, character characters in the game. And we add character controller for that, for this reason. And I'm going to make use of character controller within my script. Uh, before we start, the character controller, uh, make sure the center is at 1 and that way uh, this is the origin of the object now. The center is at 1, radius is 0.5 and height is 2. Now go to the Toon Soldier and Models. You have the Toon Soldier model there. Um, make sure, click on it, make sure this is a legacy. I will first show the legacy animation and then later I'm going to make a video about Mechanim animation. So if you want to see Mechanim, it will be in, uh, in the future videos. Apply. Model is fine. And now drag and drop this Toon Soldier into the player. As you can see, the Toon Soldier is right here and the player. So let's uh, modify this a little bit. Let's make the height three and it's going to be at 1.5 to make sure we cover the soldier okay and so this is our object soldier object and we're going to be moving him around and i'm also going to tie his animations okay now uh choose the student soldier demo object uh animations so the Go to Animations folder, which is under Toon Soldiers. And there are several animations. Uh, you can see by, you can click on the animation and it's going to come up with a um, view here. And you can see what the animation is like. So this is an idle animation. This is an assault anim uh, run animation. This is a shoot animation, right? So we're going to be using these. Uh, click on Toon Soldier under the player, uh, press 
make sure the animations are very three long and put the idle run and assault and the default animation should be idle now let's see how this works uh, default clip could not be found okay that's because they are not legacy animations right now so what you need to do is choose all of these rig from humanoid to go legacy and apply so now it should be working now as you can see soldier it's playing um, the idle animation okay now let's go to uh, let's find out how we can actually move this soldier so I'm going to go to player control script in the player control we have the move method but right now it moves the object based on its transform instead I'm going to use character collider so first uh, let's have a private character controller variable which is con named controller and at the beginning of my uh, beginning of this this script uh, I'm going to get the character controller component so get component character controller okay this way we are initializing the controller variable and now we are going to um, use this controller to move the soldier um, now this works a little bit different right uh, we're I'm gonna still keep the horizontal and vertical movements so the vertical movement is gonna be Z and then I'm gonna have a movement X for um, not rotate speed but move speed and so I'm changing this stuff you can actually just delete that and get rid of it now I'm gonna check a couple of things um, I'm gonna create a vector 3 the which is gonna be the character movement it's my direction for this uh, by the way I keep naming these vector trees direction but you can actually move you can name them differently and it's gonna have a new vector 3 now it's gonna have um, movement X uh, 0 for the Y and movement Z okay this is our gonna be our movement vector direction you can actually call this movement so it's better that way and the controller will uh, we're gonna use the move method instead of translate so this is actually going to involve some more, it's going to simulate some physics, but not quite, but it's, it's more susceptible. We'll see in a little bit how it works. Movement uh, multiplied by actually time that delta. I don't need it because it's already here. Okay, so let's see how this works now. Play. So as you can see, my character moves around. And the camera follows it, right? Um, I'm gonna make this plane go to zero now. Now I'm going to play animations. So I'm gonna create a animation, not animator, but animation component. Uh, let's say anim. And I'm going to assign the animation component of the this, this soldier into this anim uh, variable. Right, that way I can access my soldier's animations. Now I need the names of these animations. Uh, you can 
making a list from here. Now we have combat, idle, run, shoot, shoot burst. Yeah, this is this is what we're gonna use for shoot. Okay. Um, let's go and so how do I shoot? Actually, we'll do the shoot later. Let's do the movement animation for now. The way I'm going to do it, if um, if the character, sorry, controller dot velocity dot magnitude is greater than zero, then we're gonna play run animation animation anim uh, that play and run animation so we need to access it by its name All right and then uh, here play with the string as a name is a string you have to pass in the name of the animation right else which means if if it's if its magnitude is zero, if it's not moving around, then we're gonna play idle animation. So make sure this is same. Yes, it is the same. Okay, so let's give it a try and see how that looks. Right now it's idle and it's running. Idle running. And one more thing though, right now I cannot really m rotate this guy, he just moves right left but he doesn't actually rotate. So I will be moving him uh, in, a, in a way that um, you can look left and right and then move towards that way, right? So uh, float rotation y equals input dot get access and mouse x so this is a different axis so when you move your mouse left and right it's going to give a return a value between minus one and one multiply by rotate speed multiply by time dot delta time and then i will be rotating this object transform that rotate zero f um, rotation y and 0f so now it's a little bit different let's see you see he rotates now and but the thing is he's always moving towards plus y sorry plus z direction so to prevent that i will ch make a couple of changes here uh, movement Z. Sorry. Um, movement Z is going to be okay. Just one second. I need to see. Okay, um, now the movement vector will be a little bit different. I will change the movement vector. So vector three of forward movement will be equal to transform the forward multiplied by multiplied by uh, movement z okay and i will be passing in that one let's see yeah now i can he moves uh the direction he faces okay Okay. 
Great. Now, I would also like him to move um, with the to the sides as well. So that is going to be here. Moment X C. Vector three. Um, side movement will be transform that right. Multiply by moment X. Okay. Now we're going to combine these two. Forward moment plus side movement. Yeah, he can move forward, backward, and sides. Okay, this way he moves, have more diverse um, set of movements. Because if some, something is shooting at you, you might want to move just to the side instead of rotating and going forward. So that's the basics of uh, moving and animating a character. I'll see you in the next tutorial.